In this experiment, we'll talk about a really neat way that you can trap carbon dioxide gas using dry ice. Notice what happens when I pop the bubbles. That's all carbon dioxide gas in there. How can we do this? So you want to have some water and then you want to put some dry ice in. And if you need help getting dry ice, give me a call and I'll help you get hooked up. So you want to have a decent amount in there because you wouldn't want to be generating a lot of carbon dioxide gas. Now you want to take some a string or a shoestring um, and dip it in a soap solution and make kind of like a ring, like what you would make like a bubble wand, okay, like what you blow bubbles with. So get a ring and then plop it over the top. And now, what do we have? We've trapped that carbon dioxide gas. And this will keep going until the surface tension just gives out. So we can make some really, really big bubbles this way. And it's such a cool wow factor, right? Because it's full of carbon dioxide gas. And so it's completely different from what you would expect a, a regular bubble to look like when it pops. So that's one way that you can do it. I'll just set this off to the side so you can keep watching it. Let's do another thing with uh, the dry ice and making some bubbles. So here's another one that I've got sitting out. I'm gonna put a nice chunk of the dry ice in. So we've got a good, rigorous sublimation taking place. Now if we just put a little bit of dish soap in, let's see what happens. Woo! We get bubbles everywhere. And what kind of bubbles are they? They're dry ice bubbles. So you can pop them. And it's totally different from what you would expect. So lots of fun making soap, trapping that carbon dioxide gas using dry ice.